Hi friends, welcome. My name is Risa. Today we're gonna focus on psoas muscle and we're gonna use a block and yoga strap. Psoas is really important because it's connected to the upper body, to the lower body. If your psoas is tight and weak, it might create poor posture and lower back pain. So we're gonna focus on that today. You can lie down on the back, bend your knees, plant your feet, and then bring your hands on your hips. We're just gonna move our pelvic floor forward and back a few times. So you're not gonna be using your back muscle or core to do this. Just tilting your pelvis forward and back, which is creating some lower back arch. And when you exhale, tilt your pelvis forward, which tucking the tailbone in, so you're bringing the tailbone close to the belly. And then when you inhale, arching the lower back, pressing the tailbone towards the floor. And when you exhale again, bring your pubic bone and the belly button closer. And repeat this movement. Alright, great job. Now you can bring your legs together, bend your knees about 90 degree angle, lifting the feet off the mat and bring your hands on your thighs flex your feet and push your hands towards your thighs and thighs towards your hands so you're pushing your hands and legs towards each other so we are just activating the psoas muscle keep pressing if you're shaking that's a good sign you're trying your best and slowly release your feet on the ground separate your feet a little bit wider and lift your hips off the mat, squeezing the glutes muscle, but you're tucking the tailbone in a little bit so you can protect your lower back. And then as you exhale, slowly release all the way down to the mat. And go ahead and grab a strap or a towel and hook the strap on the ball of your right foot, straighten your left leg and straighten your right leg. Keep floating your right leg and bend your right knee into your chest. And whole time you are pulling the strap towards your chest so your legs is fighting against your strap. So this is also activation for your psoas muscle. Keep repeating at your own pace. We tend to focus on the tightness of the psoas muscle but the strengthening this muscle is as important as stretching. Make sure you're breathing in and out through your nose. Good. And when you bend your right knee next time, stay here for a few breaths. And slowly release your right leg and switch side. Hook the strap on the ball of your left foot. And same thing here, straighten your right leg, bend the knee into the chest and kick your leg forward. Keep pulling the strap with your hands towards yourself. Here you can adjust your hands position. You can push the lower back slightly towards the ground so you are not arching your back too much. And next time when you bend the left knee, hold it here for five, four, three, two one and release nice job you can put your strap on the side and bend your knees bridge pose again hands on the mat separate your feet and lift your pelvis off the ground releasing the front side of the body and release your pelvis and grab a block or if you have a book that works or a water bottle is fine whatever is accessible for you today 
and bring your legs forward and place the block between your legs and lengthen the spine make sure you're not rounding the spine you can sit on the block if you need to um, just grab another block and point your toes fingertips by your side and bring your leg up and cross over the right and bring it back to the left right and left cross over the block nice keep going at your own pace if this is too much and you're knocking the block over that's fine too just do your best and switch side right leg up and over to the left and right and left right and left nice keep going keep breathing nice job if this is too easy for you you can place the block to the middle part or the highest part of the block and switch side again left leg up and over up and over nice straightening your back at the same time fingertips are pressing the mat or floor and switch side right leg up and over maybe you feel a lot in your thighs and sores nice job you can remove the block by your side you can stand on your knees tuck the tailbone in hands on your hips and push the hips forward you don't have to um, arch your upper back just releasing your psoas and come to table top position hands underneath the shoulders and then bring your right knee into your chest and kick the right heel up towards the ceiling make sure you're not rounding the spine because we are not focusing on the core here focus on the hip legs or the psoas right knee into the chest and kick your right heel up towards the sky your pelvis is nice and squared squeeze the knee into the belly and kick up knee into the chest again straighten your back whole time nice and when you kick your right leg up you can try to reach your left hand to the back foot to the right foot and grab it and keep kicking into your hand press your right palm away from the mat and slowly release your right leg and let's switch side it's so left knee into the chest again don't round your spine because we want to target the hip flexor and then kick the left heel up squeeze your thigh towards the belly and kick up knee into the chest kick up straighten your back keep pressing the palms away from the mat nice kick and knee into the belly kick up more knee into the chest kick up and stay here and then maybe you can reach your right hand to your left foot and grab it from the inside or outside doesn't matter and kick up towards the ceiling now we are stretching the psoas muscle and slowly release you can lie down on your belly all the way down and bring your right forearm in front of your chest parallel to the top of the mat and then bend your left knee towards the glute left hand grab the left foot from the outside or inside and then bring your heel closer to the outside of your left hip feeling the stretch sensation in your left thigh Nice and slowly release, switch side left form on the ground and bend your right knee, grab the foot. Yeah, if you have more space, you can rotate your wrist so your elbow is pointing towards the ceiling, but that's just an option. Just listen to your body, do what works for you today. Great work and slowly you can release your right leg and 
gonna stick chest pose relax your hips towards your heels forehead down reach your arms forward and this time you can bring your right foot forward between your hands and then left leg back hands on your right thigh again bring your tailbone forward and up and push your hips forward and down your right knee is over your right ankle keep lifting the chest nice and straight and pushing the body down and forward feel the stretch in your left psoas you can release your hands on the mat and switch side left leg forward same thing hands on your left thigh square the hips first Sending the left hip back and right hip forward and push the hips forward and down. Use your exhalations to sink a little bit deeper. Hands on the mat, come to plank pose. And we're gonna do mountain climber. But again, try to straighten your back whole time and bring your right knee, left knee towards your tricep and run. Nice. Go as fast as you can. Again, try to not round your spine. Right, left, right, left. Keep going. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips high and back. Take a moment. And walk your feet forward. Separate your feet about hips width. Bend your knees. Chair pose variation. Sink your hips, arms up next to your ears. And try to squeeze your lower belly and thighs together. Send your hips all the way back, back, back. Keep reaching your hands forward. And as you inhale, stand up and exhale, release your arms by your side. And we have dancer pose variation. Stand on your right leg, bend your left knee and heel towards glute and grab your left foot from the inside, reach your right arm up and start kick your left leg up towards the ceiling. and switch side left leg is gonna be the standing leg reach your left arm towards the sky and kick up you don't have to go super deep and slowly release and you can come to a seat again lengthen the spine bend your knees and grab behind your thighs for both pose. And again, belly and upper thighs closer. Shins about pillow to the ground. Reach your arms forward if you have more space. Feel free to straighten your arms, straighten your legs if you want more challenge. And as you exhale, slowly release your feet on the ground and bend your left knee towards the glute left heel next to your hip straighten your right leg and you can bring your hands behind you and if you don't feel any stretch sensation in your left thigh and psoas you can go all the way down or halfway down try to eliminate the gap between your lower back and the mat if you need more stretch, you can bring your right foot on your left thigh or knee and press the knee towards the ground. But again, make sure you're engaging the belly slightly so you're protecting your lower back. Relax into this posture. and gently mindfully you can release your left leg and switch side you can come up and release and switch side or you can stay lying down like i'm doing here again 
there are many variations here if you have any knee pain you don't have to go all the way down at all just feel the stretch in the right leg right thigh Great work and slowly release your right leg. Nice job everyone. So this is it for today. Thank you so much for joining today. And I am doing online live classes as well. It's for free. First two classes. So please check it out in the description. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.